I don't think it's a good morning or good afternoon to do anything out inside the yard. Uh, it's rained all night and it's been raining on and off all day today. Uh, so gardening and yard work are kind of out of the question. Uh, but we are going to do something great here this afternoon. Anyway, good afternoon, Magandang Hapon, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Today, we're going to focus on a product review, something that we can do here in the comfort of the basement inside the garage. Uh, I have several things that I ordered on Lazada. One of them is a drill press, an inexpensive drill press, uh, and we're going to do an unboxing, and we're going to do a product review of the drill press. Uh, so let's go ahead and get that started this morning. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. Now, I just got a phone call from the front security office in our subdivision that said, I am about to receive a delivery. And I already know what the delivery is because I got an advance notification as a text message. And it has to do with another tool uh, that we are going to do another product review here on the channel. But it's going to be a very big and very comprehensive uh, review on that one. So uh, I'm not going to give any spoiler alerts on that one unless you see it through the box. Uh, but I'm waiting for them. Once the box comes in, gets delivered here, we get it down here inside the basement, then we'll continue on with the box opening and product review of the drill press. So stand by for just a moment. Now, normally when you get anything from Lazada, it's normally delivered by Lazada Express. Uh, it's usually a small vehicle, but today's delivery is being done by LBC because it's a little bit larger of a tool. Uh, and it took a little bit longer to get here because of that. So let's go ahead and go out and take a look. Oh, big box. Hey bro, how are you? Yeah, big box. Your delivery is coming. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Very heavy box. Very yes. heavy box. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, you're so very strong, man. Hush, hush. You watch this. You stay. Stay. Where's the paper? So he can sign for the receipt. Okay, so the big box, the big box came in. It has been delivered. Now this is going to be another product review. But like I said, this is a little bit more complex from the small drill press that we're going to do today. Uh, but we will definitely do a product review on this and we'll do, an, we'll do an unboxing product review and you'll see we're actually going to make something. Uh, I'm gonna attempt, I believe I'm going to attempt my skill at welding. I did welding a long time ago when I was a teenager and uh, I think I'm going to try doing a welding project to do something to complement this tool that's coming in here today. But that's probably about a month away from now. Anyway, let's go ahead and open the drill press and take a look and see what we got from Lazada about a week ago. Okay, so maybe we need a little bit more light here. Uh, let's turn on the workbench lights. Computer, turn on workbench lights. Ah, uh, that's better. I got to tell you, one of the best things you can do is in integrate these little smart switches and smart lights inside your house. They will really help you out or they make you more lazy. I don't know what, what, which one is <laughs> the, the real case here. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and do the product review. We're going to do the box opening of this drill press. We'll get a little bit closer up here. We'll look at the box, see what it says on the box itself. We'll talk about the, the website and the way they advertise it, and we'll open this up and take a look inside. And so what I have here is a mini bench drill. Uh, I call it a mini drill press. I got this on lazada.com. I was looking for something very simple, a simple drill press for the workbench here. Now, if you are a serious, a serious a DIY kind of guy who is going to put 
together a lot of things using a drill press, uh, some more heavy duty kind of things. I wouldn't recommend about buying something like this, but for the casual user, which is pretty much my category, something like a, this I think will suffice. Uh, this is the model, it's the BG-5156E. Uh, and it's, as you can see, it's all in kind of Chinese and English. And something that's ironic about this, uh, uh, and I say ironic, is because the advertisement for this says it is, it, well, made in Italy. Well, it actually doesn't say made in Italy, it says make in Italy. But you, you'll find a lot of the documentation that comes from China, a lot of the grammar, the English grammar, uh, isn't quite correct uh, in the way that they put it on their documentation. So this got some pictures of some of the capabilities of what we'll do on here. Uh, I think it's the same on the other side right here. Uh, and this is uh, the, the dimensions of the unit right here. It's something small enough that it won't take up a lot of space on my workbench, and this is what I want. Uh, I want you to see something here. I always enjoy reading some of the Chinese, the Chinese verbiage because uh, there is so much joy in a lot of the things that they say. They try to make your life happy, even the way that they display uh, tools. Enjoying do-it-yourself, enjoy life. Isn't that incredible? I like that saying. Anyway, well, we're gonna open this in just a minute, but before we open this, something I want to, I want to relay with you about having a drill press as opposed to having something like, like this, like your little portable drill that you have right here. Now, if you have one of these, why do you need something like this? Well, I'll tell you why. Stand by for just a second while I grab a piece of wood. Now let's take, for example, this piece of wood right here. Say if I want to mount this on the wall, I already have maybe an anchor, anchor in the wall, and we'll say, for example, the anchor in the wall, there's two anchors to hold some kind of device up there. So we have one over here and we have one over here. And we measure these apart and we'll say maybe this is something like four inches from the center on both sides on the wall. Then we come over to our block and we make a hole here at four inches and we make another hole here at four inches. Now, when we take our drill and we drill down inside here, what happens sometimes is we are not perfect. We don't have calibrated eyes or even though I claim sometimes I have a calibrated eye, that you cannot be 100% accurate as far as the way this leans one way or the other. So what will happen with your standard drill doing it manually, sometimes instead of going straight like that, you might kind of go at a little bit of an angle so that the hole on the bottom side is over here and not here where the center is. So when you put it up against the wall, if you do it in this direction, not like this, uh, you will miss the hole. Uh, the hole is the hole is over here, so when the screw head comes out on this side, it's not going to make it into the anchor. Uh, the only way that you can get 100% accurate is using something like this. Also, this works really well when you're drilling into something like aluminum or steel. Your drill presses are the best thing that you could use. Plus, you have a little bit more control on this arm right here with the pressure that you're putting down. Because sometimes if you use this with a drill bit, Sometimes your drill, when it comes out the other side, it might go far, much faster and come out the other end and drill through something like, like your, your, your top of your workbench. And you don't want to do that. You don't want to damage anything underneath. Here, you have a specific area where there's a little hole. And when the drill goes down, it will stop. It will not go deeper than maybe that much un underneath that hole and not go into your, your source underneath uh, whatever the structure is. Okay, well, let's go ahead and open up this box. Something I want to do just before I open the box, I want you to look at what they call the technical parameters or what we would normally call the specifications. And I want to point to this top number up here, the thing that says drill clamping diameter, 1.5 to 13 millimeters. Now that's important and it has to do with what size drill bit will be accepted inside the chuck down here. Uh, I purchased this one because it says 13 millimeter, which is a little over half inch. Now, the two standard size chucks that you would get with a drill press are either half inch or three eighths, and a three inch, three eighths is just a little bit smaller than, than the 13 millimeter, so it should fit in there fine, which will give you more versatility of the amount of the drill bits that you can put inside your drill 
drill press. Uh, so uh, that's the main thing. Uh, we look at the uh, the input power, how much power it's going to consume, 710 watts. Uh, and I don't really think there's much else I'm concerned with right here, right now. It gives some of the capabilities of the, of the uh, size holes and things that it will actually drill. Uh, so let's go ahead and open it up right now. Okay, now something, I'm going to make a bet. I'm going to make a bet when I open this up. There is no English in here. Uh, let's see. Oh, and I am so, so correct. Uh, okay, so uh, enough for uh, my ability to read Chinese. I'm just going to have to look at the pictures, I guess. Uh, but a drill press is a drill press. There's only a couple of things that, we have to, that we're concerned with, and that's to do with speed and the turning on and the off. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what else is inside the box. Some tools inside here. Allen wrenches and the chuck key. We have some brushes. Uh, this is important. You're going to find when you buy items inside the Philippines. We're in the U.S. We're going to an, a pretty much a brushless type of a uh, tool system over there uh, because these things wear out. Uh, the thing, uh, the motor will spin on the inside. This sits on. This is what applies the electricity to the motor but it spins on this little carbon brush inside here and eventually they wear out. So what happens, you'll find a lot of tools come over here with spare brushes inside and you can pick them up in any of your little hardware uh, stores on the side of the road. You can usually get these right here. And we have the main unit here with the truck, and that is a 3 8 inch truck, definitely. Uh, here is the variable speed control. This is where your brushes would go inside on both sides for your motor. And you have your on-off switch. And the only other thing I'm looking for right now is the base that this sets in. And we have the base and the handle that will control the up and down of the drill. All right, well, let's go ahead and assemble it. Okay, let's see how good my Chinese is. It says something about, uh, go ahead and install the top portion into the bottom portion uh, with a five millimeter Allen wrench. Nah, I'm not, I'm, I'm not reading any of the Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking at the pictures. Uh, it looks relatively easy, so we'll put it in. We'll use the Allen screws to tighten it into the base, and there's not really a heck of a lot after that, so uh, let me go ahead and get started with that. So it's all assembled. It was really quite easy. Uh, the only mistake I made, and uh, again, my Chinese is so bad, <laughs> and I didn't see it in the picture, this spot back here, the stop for the drill itself, uh, it has to have the big block in the back, the straight, not around the front, or you won't be able to make this thing move up or down. Uh, so I got to tell you, it feels, it feels really quality. It feels like a quality drill. I, I, I'm really surprised. I expected quite the, diff, the different type of a uh, quality. Uh, it's, it's, it, although this is plastic, it's that very high, high density kind of a plastic that they have on here. All the rest of the parts, the steel parts that they start, steel and the aluminum parts that they have on there, seem to be very high quality. I'm, I'm really impressed. Uh, again, I haven't turned it on yet though. And, and you'll you notice I left this little bit of plastic protective coating on it. I always do that, even with the TV on the little bezel that goes around the edge of the TVs. I always leave these things on and then years later when they start peeling off, I take them off, uh, but for protection. I, you know, some people do that. I, I'm one of those kind of people. Anyway, let's go ahead and plug it in. Uh, and what we'll do 
is, let me put it on the lowest setting so we can look and see as far as the noise, how much noise does this thing actually make? And we'll go ahead and watch the, uh, the chuck spin, hopefully. So it goes from absolute zero, that's nice. Oh, this is going to work good. Very good. Okay, I'm happy with this so far. So uh, this is it. It's, it's running. Uh, the gear mechanism works nice and smoothly right here. All right, now one more thing before I close out today's episode is I just want to mention it has one other thing over here. It has like a little calibrated scale. Uh, so when you're doing something, you can measure... Uh, up and down, uh, it goes one, two, three, four, five, just like on a tape rule, tape measure. Uh, so that can come in handy when you're concerned with how deep you're planning on going with your, your drill bit into the uh, material that you're using. So I'm really happy with this. Uh, it even comes with an American style, uh, North American style plug inside here, uh, which is what I have here. And I have this for both so I can use the uh, universal kind of, um, well, not universal, I guess the, the round, round ones that we use here inside the Philippines. Uh, so good. Uh, that's it. Let me go ahead and close up today's episode and give you my final thoughts on this drill press. All right, now for final thoughts on this mini drill press that I purchased on Lazada. I got to tell you, my expectations were low. Uh, just looking at the picture that they had on there. They should do some good video reviews. Maybe we'll put our link in the Lazada uh, review so that other people can see. But I am really happy with this. I am extremely surprised of the quality of this right here. First impressions, that is. First impressions. Time will only tell. And what we'll do, maybe we'll revisit this in a later episode to see how this is holding up. Now, a lot of you are going to ask, what is the price? Well, I'm going to leave a link in the description block for this item on Lazada, but I will tell you right now, it was around 8,800 pesos. Uh, which is the equivalent to about 160 to about 165 US dollars. Uh, do I feel like I got my money's worth? Well, first impressions are yes, I think this is well worth the money that I spent on it today. It's hard finding something that is this small, this compact, without having those giant drill presses with all the, the belts. You know, they have belts that go on two different pulleys, so you have all these different speeds. But the speed mechanism, that you have inside here, the variable speed uh, mechanism that you have, it seems to run very smooth. I'm happy with that. Uh, the, the ergonomics of it sitting in a small space on a workbench, I think that's gonna work really good. And I just like the looks of this. So I'm happy. Uh, and that is my review for this for today. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video and you like more videos like this, please give me a thumbs up, please share. And if you have not subscribed, just click on that little My PI Dream Heart. In the bottom right hand side of your screen, you'll be subscribed and notified next time I upload a new video. So from right here in the Philippines, you have a wonderful and blessed day. today's episode and you would like to see more just like these just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects how to or if you are interested in moving to the Philippines and building you'll find answers there as well <laughs>